blood is drawn from the patient into a cell-safe preservative tube, which stabilizes CTCs. When the sample arrives at the laboratory, 7.5 milliliters of blood is transferred into a conical tube and centrifuged to separate packed cells from plasma. The sample is then placed on the cell tracks auto prep system, which fully automates the remaining sample preparation steps. First, the system detects the red blood cell layer and aspirates the plasma to waste, then resuspends the sample in buffer. CTCs are then enriched using ferrofluid coated with antibodies, targeting the epithelial cell adhesion molecule. Tumor cells of epithelial origin are thereby magnetically separated from the bulk of the cellular material within the sample. CTCs are then stained with cytokeratin monoclonal antibodies which are specific to epithelial cells. To distinguish contaminated leukocytes from CTCs, a pan-leukocyte monoclonal antibody called CD45 is also added. Finally, cell nuclei are stained using a DNA stain called DEPI. These enriched and stained cells are then transferred to the cell tracts cartridge, which is contained within the cell tracts magnus, for analysis. The magnus is incubated in the dark for 20 minutes. And during this time, a plasma magnetic force pulls the cells to the surface of the cartridge and holds them firmly in place. The magnus is then inserted into the cell tracks analyzer too. The cells, which are now held in place at a single focal depth, are then automatically scanned by the fluorescent optical system of the cell tracks analyzer too. The cell tracks analyzer too records fluorescent events and presents images to the user for classification. By this process, CTCs are identified as the cells that are positive for cytokeratin and DEPI, but negative for CD45.